You know, I'm amazed how that people, um, it seems like that any time um, that there's a reason that you can get some people together, whether it be um, in disunity, corruption, or rebellion, I'm amazed at how you can get people to be unified on stuff like that. Let me give you an example. Um, you know, there's a total media blackout as to what's going on uh, up there on Wall Street right now in New York. Uh, we that are outside of the mainstream news media know full well what's going on. But what's amazing to me is, is how you can get all these people together, they can come together on one mind. And they really despise and hate this system. But yet and still, these same people cannot come together on one mind in order to opt out of this system to live another way. Um, I mean, I, I've got the answers in how to do that and what you need to do. But the problem is is that some of us are just not willing to make the sacrifice. The truth is we want to continue to keep having handouts. Uh, we want things that are going to be convenient to our flesh. Um, because, you know, we don't want to deal with somebody else. And the reason why we don't want to deal with somebody else is because the truth is we don't want to deal with ourselves. We don't want to be around truthful and honorable people because we ourselves are not truthful and honorable. Uh, the reason why we always think that somebody's going to take advantage of us because that's what we will do to people ourselves. Uh, so a lot of times, a lot of our fears and our reservations are really yoked up and jacked up in your own human nature because you fail to do something about your situation and who you are, so therefore you have this personal belief that nobody else can do it either. And since nobody else is doing it, you don't have enough resolve and strength within your own self to make the change. Because, you know, it's so much easier for, uh, let's say, a whole bunch of people um, those of you, especially who may have a little bit of means. You know, you can tell um, a country the type of character and the type of spirituality that it has, as well as nature and attitude, by how it treats its poor. And, of course, you look at this system of capitalism, which is nothing more than a system of corruption. It's all about greed. And they don't care about the poor whatsoever at all. You know, I've often said over the years, that in this world, it's not the fact that a matter if we don't have enough resources, because we do have enough resources. We have enough resources here in America to make sure that every person can have a home, every family. Uh, we have enough resources in this country that nobody should be starving. But when you look at this system of capitalism, you're looking at the, the devil system, Satan system. And so when you look at the evils that are perpetuated up on this land, the injustices, let me just go ahead and tell you a painful truth. You are not free. You are not free at all in this country. When the Messiah said in John 8, 32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. That is the only freedom that there is in this world, especially those of us who are ambassadors and represent another kingdom. And this kingdom of this world do not take it kindly, nor do they like the fact that anybody out here is going to oppose this particular kingdom that is operating here in this world. And so you're seeing a totalitarian system, um, the way that it would be in what we have been made to believe to be a communist country, a communist nation like over in China. You're looking at a totalitarian system here in America where people do not have a right to protest. Because if you go protest, they're going to throw you in jail, lock you up, uh, charge you some time extraordinary fee for being locked up. Uh, you don't have a voice. Um, because the people who you call politicians, um, they, they don't support nor defend the Constitution of the United States. And I keep trying to tell you people, as long as you're deceived in your mind of thinking that that document is relevant, uh, you're going to continue to keep suffering under the abuses of this particular system. Your court system belongs to the corporations, and they are in, interested in defending the corporations, not you. You people, the only thing they do is extract taxes and money, and they're going to continue to keep raising taxes, and they're going to continue to keep oppressing your life. So, you know, the, the ideal is to have a solution. The solution is, is if you can find 20 or 30 people who have their own particular constitution. This is our constitution here straightway, right here. And we're all subject unto this, from the least of us to the greatest. And we all have determined that we're going to live by this book. And, that, and that's all there is to it. And it has the final say. And we have a governing rule body here of elders to make sure that the laws, statutes, and commandments are implemented. And we live a just, um, for a truthful, free, and holy life. Uh, we understand that we are in exile 
to our most high Yah. And we're just pilgrims and strangers in this foreign land just passing through. I hope that some way, somehow, that every time you watch some of my videos, that it's able to trigger some type of truth with inside of you that you have the ears to hear. Uh, because, yes, what I'm talking about, it's very painful, but it's also very painful to live in a system that has trained you to be subordinate. It's also very painful to continue to be up under the deception of a lie while you think that you're believing the truth. It's also very painful a system that act like that it cares for you um, when you look at the laws that it passes. When you look and see how they behave towards you and they treat you as the criminal. When you look at the Patriot Act and it act as against you and not against the so-called quote-unquote ragheads 3,000 miles away across the sea. But they're all implemented upon you. When you look and see that how you're the one that's been molested, groped, and filled upon, and jacked up at the airports, jacked up in the in the football stadiums, and no matter where you go in this country, when you continue to see the government is still continually keep growing, your your liberties and your freedoms and your rights are quickly eroding away from you. So the best thing to do is to get a bunch of people who is about 30, 40 people who are honorable. And that's a rough thing to do in this society because people are inherently selfish. They're not going to make the sacrifices in order what it takes. Most people will stay rooted in the system and clutch it like a wino does his bottle to the very end. And then hope that some way, somehow, somebody will be benevolent towards them because they were greedy and selfish. And they didn't want to do nothing to help the poor. To help the people that really truly needed the help. And the ones who have an excellent spirit. Everybody that comes to you don't have an excellent spirit. And everybody that comes to you is not just true, holy, and right. You need to know that. And that is the truth. And that is the true straight way. You need to listen to someone who has wisdom in the hour that we're living in now. Because America, you are not free by any stretch of an imagination. And that's the truth.